My name is Andrew Fillingham. I'm with Ampere. Okay, so next we'll talk about connectors. They're complicated. So connectors, high voltage connectors specifically, they have a lot of components. And also when you build battery boxes, you kind of have to think about how easy is this box to take apart? Is it just one latch and you have the whole thing open? When you're building your batteries or building your high voltage components, you, know, you want to strive for IP67 enclosures so no water gets in. It is safe from dust, exposure to, and also for people not to get into them, right? We go with the approach of everything should take two actions. You'll see this on high voltage connectors. It takes two actions open, and that's a good rule of thumb. If you can do it in one action, then it's not necessarily a safe enclosure or connector for high voltage. If anything can crawl in there and a bug can get in there and short your system, then your enclosure needs to be updated. So a lot of these components that you add into your system, are, they're all gonna have different ratings. This matters a lot if you're doing like a 120 volt build versus a 400 volt build or even higher. It's always important to not just reuse the same contactors or connectors across those builds, you wanna double check these are rated for what you're trying to do. A good example is like a pre-charge resistor. Unless you have a really big pre-charge resistor for all your stuff, the same one that's rated for the 120 volt system is probably not rated for the 400 volt system. It can slowly fail over time uh, or it'll fail instantly. Uh, just to give an example, the connectors that are on our battery boxes, their specs are you know, minus 40 to 100 C. They can do 100, 500 amps continuous, and they're rated for 1,000 volts, as well as we have the IP67 rating on them. One of the big things we see is actually crimping. You can get away with a bad crimp for low voltage, but if, if you get a bad crimp for high voltage, the stakes are higher. If you're not using the right tool to crimp these, these terminals on the high voltage connectors, you can cause a short to chassis. Uh, this could happen while active. We spend a lot of time making sure we have the right crimpers and it is a process. You can always ask around and someone probably knows what you should do there. There's a lot of parts that go into this little connector and you have to do that 10 times or multiple times for all of your components. So it's very easy for one of these to not be right. And that's kind of all it takes for either your vehicle not to work or there's just to be a pending problem. One of the issues we actually see a lot is with these outer ferrules. So we just see a lot of isolation faults and kind of issues pop up out of nowhere. Just to give you a good example, that cable below that connector just pulled straight out of the high voltage connector because it wasn't crimped correctly. Along with that, you can see that there's strands of shielding just floating around. So the, the ferrules weren't used there to hold that down. Try to get the right tools for high voltage connectors, check their ratings. Once you kind of get that all set up, then it's pretty easy just to follow the process.